December 10th, 2015. I'm Anastasia Crockett, and in China, the smog is so bad you can see it from space. We've got the details. And I'm Aaron Chafin. LeBron has signed a lifetime contract with Nike. We'll tell you what it's worth. Your CSN News starts now. Salvation Army Angel Tree is in the library. Donate a toy to a needy child and make their Christmas magical. Toys must be to the library no later than December 15th, unwrapped with a tree tag attached. Each toy donated can be redeemed for a coupon good to toward a current or future library fine. Raid those pantries, canvas your neighborhood, and throw in a couple extra cans in the car next time you're at the store. Bring those cans and let us help our community. Seniors are in the lead with 730 items, juniors are second with 54 items, sophomores are third with 45 items, and freshmen are in last with 38 items for a total of 867 items. Don't forget to challenge the seniors from Ms. Brookridge. The end of the semester is almost here, and with, the, and with that comes the credit appeals. If you have six or more absences in any one class, then an appeal for credit must be completed. Check PowerSchool to see whether or not you need to appeal for any credits. A list is also posted in the cafeteria. The appeal window is now open through Friday, and you need to click on the link available on our school website to start the appeal process. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask our dean, Mr. Chandler. The NHS Drama is proud to present the complete works of William Shakespeare abridged this Friday and Saturday in the Little Theater at 7 p.m. Come or to not to come? That's the question. Snow Team, if you have not turned in your forms and paid, you must do that before Christmas break. There is a mandatory meeting Tuesday, December 15th, 2015, after school in room 125. If you cannot make the meeting, talk to Ms. Urbina, Mr. Caruthers, or Mr. McDonald. Tomorrow, the Foreign Language Society is doing a Panda Express fundraiser at the 12th Avenue location. So plan to eat Panda Express tomorrow night and help them out with the percentage of your meal when you show the flyer. There will be some flyers at the front desk if you need one. The NHS baseball program has arranged to have Krispy Kreme donuts and Dutch Bros coffee to the campus Wednesday and Thursday for finals week during all three lunches. Donuts will be $1 each. Start saving your change and start searching for your couch cushions. We'll be right back after this. Writing is an adventurous journey of self-discovery. Writing is an outlet. Writing is relaxation. Writing is my sarcastic attitude brought to life. Yes. Writing is a form of expression that allows me to be me. Writing helps me escape the doldrums of everyday life. Writing is the pizza of the soul. National English Honor Society. Meetings every other Thursday in room 656. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 51 with a low of 35 rain. Tomorrow's high is 45 with a low of 36 with snow flurries. In China, officials are still struggling with smog that makes their air unsafe to breathe. In the latest news, NASA announced that the smog in Beijing is so bad that it can be seen from space as a haze over the city. With the surge in the automobile ownership and use of coal as a major power source, China has been trying to find a way to clean up their air. On Monday, it was announced that Cleveland Cavaliers forward LeBron James has signed a lifetime contract with Nike. It is believed to be the first deal of its kind with a 30-year-old contract worth up to $500 million. Nike's deal to James is based on the assumption that he will stay scandal-free throughout the rest of his career, as well as staying power in the many years of his life without his no longer active player. The sportswear company will probably base their James model on the success of a partnership with Michael Jordan. Nike executives acknowledge much of the growth from Jordan's brand has come from the U.S. market and items sold almost exclusively to men. But women account for half the NBA viewing audience and the sport goes global. There's a potential the brand expands internationally as well. Today's SAT word of the day is inherent, which means existing in something as permanent and inseparable quality. You can use it this way. Tall people have an inherent advantage in sports where height is important, such as basketball. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.